Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create um, some invisible buttons uh, which are useful if you're wanting to overlay some buttons over an already existing image um, so that the user can interact with it. So in this example I've got the cast from a film which I'm sure you've all seen before uh, and I'm going to draw a circle over each face so that when you hover over that face um, a little tooltip will pop up that tells you the name of that particular character. So to begin with, I'm just going to add another layer for all of my buttons, and I'm going to call this <coughs> layer buttons, like this. And I'm just going to take the oval tool, and it doesn't matter about the colour because we're not going to keep the button there anyway. And I'm just going to draw an image, a circle over the, the face of, of the first character, like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to double click on that image, and I'm going to turn that into a symbol. Um, and I'm going to call this one the name of the character. Make sure you've you've created a button, like in the previous tutorial. Once you double click on that button, you can see now we've got the up, over, down and hit frames as normal. Now it's actually, we don't want anything in the up frame, otherwise that green circle is going to appear there all the time. So we're going to drag that across to the hit frame so there's actually you can see because that's white now there's nothing in there and there's only something that green circle is in the um, the state for the for the hit state uh, like that so when we come out of here we click on the arrow to go back you can see how that's now become um, slightly transparent okay so we press control and enter to test our movie you can see that when we hover over that face there we can see the it's still a button because the the little symbol with the finger uh, appears so that we know that that is still an interactive button okay so I want to go back into the movie and I'm going to double click on the button and just show you how we can add a little tooltip pop up now I want that to pop up when we hover over his face so that's on the over frame so I'm going to click on the over frame and press F6 okay and then I'm going to take the text tool on the right, and I'm just going to, above his head, I'm just going to write his name like that. I think a different colour black would be better. I'll do that again. And I'll make the font size a little bit bigger. There we go. So you can now see the effect. If we just test that button out again, control and enter, hover over his his face and you can see we get his name okay now the process to complete this you would just need to create individual buttons one for each character um, and change the the, the text tooltip to be the appropriate name for each character so you would need four different buttons for each character because each of them have will have a different name you can't reuse the same button over and over again for this particular one